Right, just so you know, this is part of my house. I'm not out of it yet. Right, so come with me. I know it's a bit of a shit situation right now. We're basically in sort like solitary confinement. Everyone in the UK I'm talking about. So, basically on lockdown for three weeks, what are we gonna do about it? Sorry to interrupt myself. Um, I know it's a shit hole that I'm in right now, but trust me, it was a lot worse. Here's six food you can make to make yourself feel better throughout this three weeks of imprisonment. And here we go, first off, Spam and beans. So remember, when you're opening the can, make sure the twister is on the outside of the can, because you don't want to fuck it up. There you go. That's how you do it. Look. I just cut myself. So yeah, be careful when you are opening your can, because they're fucking lethal. Right. When there's no rational solution, brute force is required. We only need three slices for this. Save it the rest, could be doomsday tomorrow, god knows. Slice it up, because this is a perfect dish for brunch, breakfast, wherever the hell you're gonna wake up. Shove it all in the pan, fry to golden crispy. Three slices of bread, gotta make do with that. Because guess what? Some twats from my uni management team decided to nick my toaster instead of replacing my other broken oven. And in it goes. Add a dash of HP sauce in there. And then salt. Got a cleaning product. Yep. A little bit of that. Salt, pepper, standard. A little bit of cheese, that's for my liking. And job done. Classic, easy to make hangover cure. Perfect for your morning start. Spam and eggs with rice. Yeah, that will do. Remember those leftover spam? It's dinner time, isn't it? Open it up, spread it around, and just slice it. Slice it in half. Oil, oh, not a lot. If you remember, spam, it's got oil on it. Just drop them in. As we're waiting for the spam to get prepared and make it nice and crispy, it is time to prepare for the rice. And here's the trick. This is the ratio to make your rice al dente. Magic, innit? Get yourself a rice cooker! At this point, take your rice out and make sure it's all fluffy, but not watery. Then, place it on a plate. With spam. And make a few fried eggs. It doesn't hurt to add a few broccolis around to enhance the aesthetic. You will need two teaspoons of soy sauce to finish it off. And there you go. Beef fried rice. I started off by putting my veggie in the microwave. A day old rice. Make sure they're not frozen, they're just fluffy. Soy sauce, it could be Chinese, Cantonese, Japanese, depends on your liking. This is sauce, absolutely amazing. If you're allergic to shellfish, then get the vegan option. Right, spices. Two choices here. You can either go boring option, that's sriracha sauce, or you want to go adventurous with the Cantonese chili. Pepper and salt, fairly basic. Of course, oil and beef. Right, let's start off with some beefy shit. Get rid of the fat. You're only going to need 250 gram on this. Slice it into a few little pieces. Oil up your wok. Teaspoon of chili sauce, we cut it, and in goes the beef, followed by chopped onions. Stir it around and get the ricey boy in there. Fuck, mate, I need help with this. I need help with this. I need help with this. Can you open it for me? <laughs> Much obliged. Two teaspoons of oyster sauce in there, and keep stirring until it changes colour. Add your mixed veg in there to add some extra greenness. Again, that's for aesthetic. I can love that word. I don't know why. Make a well in the middle because we're about to finish it off. Two eggs. It's not any fried eggs because fuck that. We need scrambled eggs. Just keep stirring. 
And... Bob Shankle, job done. Top it off. Some sriracha sauce on top. Beef stir fry. I know you guys are gonna tell me that, mate, you need egg noodles in order to make stir fry, but I can tell you that, no. What if all these, all these aren't available? I'm actually talking about something that you've already bought during your panic shopping. Pasta. And here are the ingredients. Pause the video if needed. So, marinated beef, a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, a teaspoon of chili, a tablespoon of soy sauce, a little bit of pepper, and two tablespoons oyster sauce. Then, shove it in the fridge for three hours. Remember, do this three hours before cooking your shit. Legend has it, for the pasta, take away a minute and a half from the suggestion cooking time because that way you're going to get it al dente, spot on, on the dot. Pop up your garlic, and red onions and fry them. When the time has come, drain your pasta, but leave just enough for the sauce later on. Back to beef, just stir fry it and microwave your veggie, put your veggie in there because that's a way to cheat. And don't forget to add water every now and then to moisturise your shit, you don't want it to be dry like jerky. Now add 600ml water in there, that's to do with pasta because you want it to be nice and fluid. And it's basically noodles, it's going to soak up all the moisture, so you need that water. Then stir it around, as always, soy sauce and two more tablespoons of oyster sauce and you're there. Perfect dinner dish, bon appetit. The fifth one is my personal favourite. Right, the next thing to make is very close to my heart because this is what people would eat in Hong Kong for breakfast, lunch or dinner or tea. Whatever they like. Right, I'm using facility in this case because why not? That cockscrew shaped pasta. Fuck that one up. Want to see some magic? There you bloody go. Marinating oil, sugar, soy sauce and oyster sauce. Then a dash of cornstarch. That is to retain the tenderness of the beef. It's up and boiling. Saute the red onions with salt, pepper. Add in a tablespoon of tomato paste. That's to enrich the colour, the redness of the broth. And then chuck in your chopped tomato. And don't forget to balance it out. Some sugar. Because you don't want that sourness to take over too much. And add in 600 millilitres of water and two teaspoons of chicken stock. Now put the lid up for 15 minutes. Medium heat. Once that's done, drop your pasta and mix veggie in there and let it boil for six minutes. Drop the beef in there. I want it to be slightly poached for five minutes. And then just mix it up and it's ready to serve. The taste of Asia right there in front of you. So this is more like a snack. Well, with this, it can't be any more simpler. Literally, it's all about the spices. It's in my blood, so sorry, not sorry if you can't handle spices, but I'll try and keep it like less spicy, all right? First thing to do, drain and cheek peas. Then lube up, I mean, oil up your pan, and start roasting. For the seasoning, you need pepper, salt, pepper, and a lot of garlic powder. Once the cheek peas start drying off, and then two tablespoons of curry powder and some mild chili powder. What I'm looking for is when some of them started to crack open. And, uh, that one started to crack. That's cracked. That's cracked. And let me present to you the perfect substitute for popcorns. Only better in every single way. More fiber, more protein. Perfect for your late night film sesh. Thank me later. Please. Please. You can't call it a six food video without the seven vitam and of course if you've got a little bit of class, definitely a cocktail. I'm going to teach you one today, it's called Quentin Quarantino. So basically it's really bloody simple. What you need is one thousand milligram of vitamin C tablet and a shot of ice cold vodka provided by my nice my lovely, lovely flatmate, Brianna, straight in. She's a professional photographer, so definitely check her Instagram out by clicking the link below. And also, another shot 
of my fake Malibu. There we go. Nice and easy. And then top it off with some sparkling water. Or as the American would call it, club soda. Just top it off with club soda. That's what you need. And there you bloody go. A double Quentin Corentino. That's it for the video then. Thanks for watching. Um, I know it's a bit of a piss take, but it's fucking boring to be on lockdown. There's nothing we could do about it. All we could do just to laugh it off and enjoy every single day. I will be making videos without your support. So, please click like and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. And also, don't forget to stay tuned. Peace.